Wars. Today I thought we'd do a little bit different video. Um, I'm going to show you these Battle Gladys orchids that I have. Um, I have quite a few. My Lowe's gets these in constantly. These are considered a terrestrial ground orchid here. Uh, they have them basically in just your normal good old potting soil and I have not transplanted them yet. We are on the lookout for some really nice pots to put these in around our lanai. Uh, I do have quite a few of these. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, I've got five or six uh, total uh, around there, I'm thinking. Uh, I, I love them. I think they're wonderful, fun, and easy, and they bloom like crazy. Um, as you can see here, just on this one alone, I have a very large flower spike coming right here, and I believe this one is yellow. Um, you can see little ants are all over the end of that there. That's what they get the sap to help them open up. And then I've got another flower spike forming down there. Um, this one, I don't... I don't know if it's bloomed before or not. Oh, and there's another flower spike right there I just found. Um, these things just constantly, constantly bloom, 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 bloom. Uh, and I love that about them. And then next to it, I do have a purple or a magenta colored one. This thing is a beast of a beast. Um, I think, yeah, this thing just keeps going and going. I've got two flower spikes right there, another one right there, another one there. There's another one back there. I see my daughter's pool toys there. Um, I don't know if there's any more new ones coming on this one, which is fine. There's going to be plenty to look at at that point. Don't mind my Bismarckia palm. we got to plant that in the yard here soon. Um, coming over here, this here is kind of a mess. We're still working on everything. I have three more. So, yeah, I must have six. Yeah, six total. Um, this one right at the moment is not putting up any bloom spikes, which is fine. It was the weaker of all the plants that I had. This one is yellow and pink. Um... And it just didn't look super good, uh, even when I bought it, but it was the first one I bought. <laughs> there's my other yellow one doing fantastic. You can see there's a, a brand new bloom spike coming right there, plus all the ones that are already blooming. And then I have a white one. Um, this is simple white. This thing has been blooming nonstop, as you can see. It's pretty crazy uh, how many flowers are on this thing, um, but I love it. I absolutely love the white. I think it's just a nice and peaceful color. And again, what I do with these right now, they're in the shade. Um, about five o'clock is when the sun actually does hit them and it does not hurt them at that point. Um, just the way that my house is situated and the way the sun rises and sets according to the way my house is situated, um, they do not get direct sun until much later in the day. And at that point it is okay. Uh, and uh, plus my lanai is covered in screen. So that offers about 30% uh, percent shade block and that is really what they need. Care wise, I water these guys probably twice a week. I fertilize once a week and I just use your normal orchid fertilizer, nothing special. And uh, they seem to do pretty well with that. This one's put on a bunch of new growth since uh, I purchased them. You can see there's a little one right there. There's uh, three new ones right there in a row. You can see those ones. So that's all new since I purchased. The only other terrestrial, I guess, ground orchid I have is this, um, it's a radican uh, epidendrum I think that's what they call them. They call them a reed orchid down here. People practically throw these things away because they are constantly being divided. Uh, but yeah, so that is my Spathoglottis orchid collection. You can see I've got just the other ones are just over there along with uh, a really big jasmine plant that I have and then my other Bismarck that I really need to get in the ground. Other than that, everything else is doing really great right at the moment. Everything's adjusting. I've got a bunch of spikes coming on. I will show you this. My little um, Neo Phoenicia type orchid here has a bunch of bloom spikes on it. See, there's one here, another one coming right there and right there. And then this one back here has a bloom spike starting right there. So I'll have four spikes on that one. Uh, he had none when I got him, so I'm really excited about that. And then one thing I did notice is kind of a bummer. Some of the um, petals on my orchid fowls are um, curling. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's too much water got on them or, or what. It's the older ones I've noticed, but... And it happened on this one too. You can see there, there's like brown spots. I must have accidentally hit it with a water wand or something. I'm not sure. It is what it is. These things have been blooming forever. This one was blooming back in Ohio. Um, this one was not, but that's still fine with me. It, it'll be all right. Uh, we'll see what happens there. Getting uh, excited about this one. I love this one. This is a secondary spike. This one opened up again. That one also was brought here from Ohio. I love that one. Super beautiful colors. Uh, lots of new root growth. You can see there are little growing tips. Um, most of them have that going on there. I've got one that's got one that's growing straight up in the air right there. He's got a root growth straight up. It's kind of funny. But what I'm loving is watching the root tips form on my Vandas. For instance, right here you'll see uh, I've got a whole like bunch of new little root tips growing 
Um, I used a brand new fertilizer for me. I've never tried it before, but one of my uh, really good friends said to, hey, to give this a shot, I think you're gonna like it. And boy, oh boy, was he right. I have never seen so much root growth sprout out after using that fertilizer. So like, there's a new root tip. There's some um, back there. All down this one, you can see all those dark nubs. Those are all brand new root tips. I mean, they just, it took off. And that was with just one application of that fertilizer. So um, once I've used it more and I see more progress, I'll do a video on that specific um, fertilizer so you guys can uh, possibly order it for yourselves too. But like I said, it has really helped some of my old staled off, I guess, orchids really put on some new root tips like crazy. Um, even like, I mean, that's insane what it's done. These guys uh, are really going strong here. You can see all the little new root tips on them. Um, whatever that stuff in that stuff, they love it. So I'm really excited about that. But anyhow, back to what I was actually talking about in the beginning. So that is my Spathoglottis, uh, Spathoglottis, however you want to pronounce it, orchid collection. If you live in Florida, check your lows. They have them constantly. They're 1098 of a uh, plant, which I think for something that continually blooms like that is not a bad deal at all. Super fun. Um, and they're very rewarding. They don't have any fragrance that I can tell. Um, but to have continual flowers all season long is really kind of fun. Alrighty guys, well thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed and have a great day. We'll see you on my next video.